Nata Faye is one of many Senegalese women suffering from a lack of pigmentation. Fifteen years ago, her skin was unblemished. But that was a long time ago. And it's thanks to skin lightening products. She's made it her mission to educate other women about the risks of skin bleaching. The pigmented skin is not pretty. I know many women whose skin is more damaged than mine because of skin lightening products. Today, I realize how bad it is and I regret using them. I always wear a veil when I go out. Despite several awareness campaigns, women in Dakar continue to use skin lightening products. Some say it's the only way to get ahead in their careers or even find husbands. Senegalese men love light-skinned women. When you have a light complexion, people look at you admiringly and it's easier to find a husband. In addition, if you're looking for a job and you have fairer skin, it really increases your chances. I don't mind the risks. I'll keep lightening my skin. Women aged from 20 to 60 are the biggest consumers of these products. Although they are banned in Senegal, Many are available at local markets, ranging in price from 2 to $5. The prolonged use of skin lightening products exposes women to the risk of skin cancer. Here at the hospital, we've had more than 10 patients who've developed skin cancer from using artificial depigmentation lotions. Its depigmentation is carcinogenic. There's no longer any doubt about this because it's been scientifically proven. Studies show that more than half the women in Senegal bleach their skin. It's prompted dermatologists to sound the alarm that depigmentation is becoming a major public health concern. Susan Mogeli, CGTN.